There's no man with his haul. 154 comics. At least. He had the free slap. And he got a free slap because of it. I told you this this man has got he's got a problem. He's got an addiction. I think a lot of us do though. Uh, thank you again for taking me here, buddy. I got 16 really nice comics. He he got some real gems in there as well. Um, so uh, now we're going to get something to eat, and then we're going to the wormhole. Wormhole. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye. Greetings, fur color fans. Welcome to Metarox channel. Welcome back to Metarox channel, hopefully. And uh, I am taping this in no man's house. Uh, as you can see in the little introduction there, we went to Collector's World, and Nami got a bunch of stuff over 150 some comics and auto dollar bins and uh, we taped that video yesterday down in the wormhole but uh i figured i'd show you what i picked up on my channel and the things that he got me which i forgot to show when uh, we did the video over there so uh, i'm on my way to heroes con got here yesterday took the ten dollar bus from new york city to washington dc not to pick me up and we went to collector's world right away first thing we did and hit their great dollar bins. Uh, after this, I'll show you, I'll tell you a little bit about our plan for Heroes Con. So uh, this is what he had for me when I got here. Adventures into Fear 21. I do have this, but mine was missing the honorable value stamp. I'm trying to finish up all the comics that I cut the value stamp out of. So I'm, I think I'm less than 20 at this point. And I also won this in one of his contests signed Willie Mays picture. I believe this came from uh, Silver Knight Kyle. So that'll go up in the Medicave. Of course, Say Hey Kid is uh, an incredible baseball player. Was. So, um, what else did I pick? I also picked, well, I picked up some other things, but I'll, I'll, I'll just go put how the pile was. So this came from Collector's World. Tales of Legion of Superheroes, number 321. Beautiful. Dawn Star cover by Dan Jurgens. Dan Jurgens is going to be at Heroes Con, so I figured if the line's not too long, I might get him to sign this. I'm not really a signature guy, but uh, I, do, I do want to like to meet the creator, so at least that's an opportunity to meet them, and you know, just put a little money their way. Okay, so uh, I think that's just a gorgeous cover there. <clears throat> I picked up this uh, War is Hell number seven. This is out of the dollar bins, by the way. Again, a Bronze Age reprint of uh, Star Trek Fury from the Silver Age. But, uh, you know, I do have a run of Ward's House, so I said, why not? Let me just finish that up. And here is the uh, only Mark Jewelers I was able to find. Um, Wonder Woman number 213. Uh, I thought for sure we were going to find more, but we only really found two, and one was gone by mistake. So there's the insert. Again, not in fabulous shape, but uh, I'll clean and press it, and it'll uh, definitely look a lot better than it does now. Here's a two door 239, really nice shape. Guy, I do have this issue, but mine is not in great shape, so I'll either uh, send this on to Ray or um, somebody else if he already has it. Or oh, no, under coffee or the oven. So this is a good find. Strange Tales 147 in the dollar bin. Of course, it's bent to heck. This is a chiropractor's nightmare, nightmare right here. But uh, again, for that price, I mean, I'll clean it, press it, and it'll, 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 it'll fold up. It'll, it'll lay fine, no worries. I mean, for Silver Age Strange Tales, yeah. So, yeah, I've been collecting the series, The Survivors by Spectrum. Uh, they only had two series, I think The Guardian, which I already had in Spectrum. I've really kind of been impressed by this very small publisher. So uh, I don't think I'm only seeing two issues at this point. So good to find number one there. Uh, this was, but believe it or not, in the Dollar Man Action Comics, number 352, 12 center. You just can't leave that there for a dollar. Uh, not in terrible shape. I really don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe there's a pop staple up here, I'm not sure. But I'll um, definitely be able to clean that up. Uh, here is uh, Hanna Barbera's Yogi Bear number nine. It's going to a buddy of mine who loves Hanna Barbera. I think you know who you are. And I can't believe these were in the dollar bin. Hulk 133. Again, I do have this one, but mine I think is a lot rougher. So I'll swap that out and send the uh, other copy out to somebody. Same thing with 132. Hard to believe these were in the dollar bin. I mean, not terrible shape. All right, so uh, Nauman found this one in the dollar bin. There are actually two 
So he let me have one prism. This is a uh, giveaway for a uh, video game from the, I think, early 2000s. So, uh, you know, I love these promotional and mini comics. At least it's like on two fronts. And Hulk 194, again, mine is just kind of a beat up copy. So good to have a pretty darn good copy out of the dollar bin. I haven't, I've looked through these and they're not too bad. Uh, Doctor Strange number 70, finishing up my Doctor Strange run. I think I'm less than 10, maybe seven or eight in, from that Bronze Age run, mostly in the 70s. Uh, this was in there as well, Captain Venture and the Land Beneath the Sea number one. It's got rip up here, but uh, I can repair that up again for a buck. Uh, number one gold key, yes, thank you. Uh, Daredevil 120 really beat up, but again, mine is missing the value stamp. This one has it, so I'll do a little page swap or something to make sure that value stamp gets into my collection. I couldn't believe this was in here. Uh, from Beyond the Unknown, number one. Yeah, that's right. 15 center. So cool. Again, not terrible shapes. Got a little bit of curl. I'll clean this up, press it. It'll look really nice. Um, I'm collecting this series as well, Captain Canuck, and this is the first summer special. I think I'm missing about five or six of these from Conley Comics. Um, not, not terrible comics, uh, published by a Canadian company, but I think they were sold in the United States as well. Hopefully I can find the rest of those in Heroes Con. Okay, so these, uh, Nauman, uh, he had doubles and he just let me have them. Kong number two, which I don't have in my collection. Thank you, Nauman. And two commandies, number 41 and number 34. Again, I'm trying to finish this run as well, and I'm kind of probably more than halfway there. So the uh, the big book that I found in there, um, just digging through, and I saw a bunch of new mutants, and then I was like, I wonder if this was would be in there. And I was like, yeah, like, no way, right? But yeah, it was in there. New Mutants Annual number two, first Betsy Brodick, Psylocke, um, this is in a near mint shape, if not a bit near mint plus. I mean, there's a little bit of a little tiny little tear down there. But uh, yeah, that is a heck of a find. Uh, probably a $30, $40 comic in this condition. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not a values guy. But I didn't have this copy in my collection, so it's going right in there. Um, so yeah, a great day of dollar bin hunting in Collector's World. And that's it. Um, Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow we take off to Heroes Con and uh, meeting up with a bunch of the community members. I'm going to be, you know, targeting uh, a lot of the wants in my collection, finishing my Archie Adventure collection, hopefully finishing up my ACG, Magic Man, and Nemesis, and some Herbies. Um, I'm always looking for Mark Jewelers, DC Universe, oddities like that, giveaways, my Marvel value stamp comics that are missing. I don't think any of them are very valuable, so hopefully they'll be in the cheap bins, but we'll see. And then I have really two or three creators that I'm targeting, and that's it, right? Joe Staten, I, I left all my comics in Florida, which was, they were supposed to, you know, I was going to show and sign by Staten, so I have to find a couple E-Man or something there. And uh, Bob Hall's not going to show up, I don't believe. Ron Wilson is another biggie that I really want to meet. And, and get a couple comics signed from him. Again, just, I'm not a signature guy, but I just want to meet these guys. I've never, uh, I've always appreciated their art and just have not met them. And uh, John Beatty's going to be there. Hopefully I can get a Captain America Annual 6, which has a Ron Wilson and Mark Beatty um, the cover. John Beatty cover, sorry. And I can get both of them signed, so that uh, that will be a heck of a memory for this Heroes Con. And of course, meeting uh, all the community members um, out there at the con. Hopefully I'll be able to find out, you know, where everybody is and meet up, uh, you know, after, before, during, doesn't matter. Uh, if you see me around, come by, say hi. We'll take a selfie or short video or something if uh, you're so inclined. All right, so that's it for now. Uh, next video probably will be uh, at or after Heroes Con, which starts on Friday and ends on Sunday. I'm also excited to meet my buddy Russ, who we've been together for a long time on, on uh, YouTube and I've never actually met him physically. So that's going to be a great uh, time when I actually get to see him on Sunday. All right, everybody. Uh, and also, you know, Nauman and I are going to have a good time uh, here in the next few days and uh, uh, going through his 
wormhole and organizing his comics and so forth. All right, buddy, be kind to each other, be blessed, and be back. Bye.